Hello everyone, this is Dwarka from AboardQA.com and welcome back to another tutorial of Selenium WebDriver. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to write a relative XPath. So let's see the topics that we are just going to cover in this tutorial. So in this tutorial, we will see the significance of double forward slash and we'll also see how to write XPath using the attributes. So before moving ahead, I would like to define a relative XPath. So in general, when we say relative, it means we are taking reference of any element on the HTML page. So to provide this relative concept into the XPath, we normally use these double forward slash and this forward slash tell us that any tag or at the rate attribute name that is coming after this two forward slash it will search all the element or it will present all the element on the screen. So if we are just going to write double slash input or select or button or any of the HTML tag those are predefined into the HTML then it will bring all the element on that specific HTML page. So let's see one example about the significance of double forward slash and later on we will use this double forward slash to write relative path using attribute. So let's open Chrome browser. So here we can just see that Chrome browser has just been launched so let's open google.com or you can uh, open any of the web page of your choice so here I have just open google.com now let's open the developer tool so just press F12 and it will open the developer tool so if I am just going to use double forward slash followed by any of the tag or attribute then it will bring all the elements those are going to have that specific tag or attribute. So here like in previous session we have just seen that to verify any of the X path we normally use one method that is dollar $x and inside code we normally start writing our x path so suppose i am just writing double slash div and hitting enter then it will bring all the div those are available on this page so it's it is saying like there is 173 elements available on this screen in the same fashion if i am just going to opt input tag then it will bring all the input tag that is available on this Google home page so here if we are just going to count then we can just see one two three four four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we can just see that 11 input tags are available on this screen. But what if we have to perform action on any one of these input fields? So how we are just going to uniquely identify each of these input tag or div or any of the HTML tag. So
सो टू यूनिकली आइडेंटिफाई एनी ऑफ द एच टी एम एल टैग और एनी ऑफ द वेब एलिमेंट ऑन वेब पेज इट्स एच टी एम एल कोड इज गोइंग टू हैव नंबर ऑफ एट्रीब्यूट्स सो नाउ द क्वेश्चन एराइज इज हाउ वी कैन जस्ट आइडेंटिफाई द एट्रीब्यूट्स सो हियर लेट्स टेक एनी ऑफ द एनी ऑफ द एच टी एम एल कोड सो हियर यू कैन जस्ट सी दिस इज वन डिफ देयर इज वन क्लास इक्वल टू सी टी आर हाइफन पी सो द बेसिक थम रूल टू आइडेंटिफाई एट्रीब्यूट इज एनी स्ट्रिंग लाइक हियर क्लास इज ए स्ट्रिंग हियर followed by equal and there is one value assigned to that specific string it will be attribute so if we want to identify or if we want to write x path for this specific element then we need to write it like this like we have already tried few of the examples so first thing that we are just going to do we are going to search the div it means double slash div but we have to uniquely identify this div so for that we will use this square bracket and inside this square bracket we are just going to call the attribute so we are just going to write at the rate and the attribute key that is class so we are just going to write here class equal to the value of this class attribute so i am just going to take this ctr hyphen p and this value will be kept inside single quote so let's put this and hit enter so here we can just see it has just brought to div that is having class ctrp it means there are two div that is going to have class attribute ctrp so let's identify one unique attribute that is going to find this element so here we can just see there are two attribute one is class and second one is id so let's take id attribute so in place of class let's do the correction and here write id and replace the ctr hyphen p with the value of id attribute and if we are just hitting enter then here we can just see that uniquely we have just identify this element now the question arises what if we need to use multiple attributes to identify a single element so in that case the syntax will be we have already written one id attribute now we are just going to use second attribute so we will again insert this square bracket and we are just going to write class suppose for timing i am just going to take the class so write it like this ctr hyphen p so if we are just hitting enter then here again you can just see that it has just brought the same element for which we have just written the x path so let's see one fruitful uh, x path so i am just going to write x path for this search text box on google home page so here let's inspect this once we will inspect it will highlight the html code and since here we can just see input is the tag so the very first ritual that we perform is dollar x inside the bracket we are just going to do double quote and since we have to fetch input so we are just going to write double slash input now the need is to find out the input tag that is going to have 
attribute value suppose I am taking the ID here so at the rate ID equal to the value of ID that is available inside this code so I am just going to copy this LBS hyphen IB so if I am just inserting this value and going to hit enter then we can just see that it has uniquely identified the source text box it means this xpath is correct so thank you for watching and if you like my video then please like and share it with your friends and also subscribe for the future videos